Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Chart Tarot and Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with another pick a pile and today we're going to be looking at who is thinking of you and why um, so we're going to use tarot and we're going to use a few oracles as well so I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support um, I just want you to choose with your intuition and if you would like a healing session from me with a compassion key, all the links are down below. It's half price offer right now. And on my community page, I have posted some testimonials from some people I've already worked with for you to look at. OK, so pick your pile. So pile one, we have the green witch tarot, pile two, the rider weight tarot and pile three, the wizard's tarot. So pick your pile and we get started. For pile one, you chose the Green Witch Tarot. So we're going to have a look and see who is this person on your mind. Sorry, who is thinking of you? Who is thinking of you and why? So we're going to look, start with the Tarot. Uh, sorry, no we're not. We're going to start with the Oracle. Um, so this is my Oracle Lahom, Divine Masculine. So we're going to have a look and see what qualities this person might have. So this could be somebody you know, this could be somebody you don't know, this could be somebody keeping an eye on you on social media, whatever your situation. So for the highest light, love and truth, who is the person on pile one's mind? Uh, sorry, I keep saying that. Who is thinking of pile one? So we've got responsible, a man who takes charge in a crisis. So we've got somebody who's very responsible here, could be mature, could be older than you, doesn't have to be. They could work for some sort of, you know, emergency services in some way, police, ambulance, fire and rescue. Doesn't have to be, but there's somebody that's good in a crisis. So mature energy. We've got educated, higher learning, professor, wide range of knowledge. So, you know, they could be degree educated or they're just somebody that's educated in the school of life. They're mature, you know, they've been through a lot and they have a wide range of knowledge so they're well lived as it were and they're helpful always willing to help out whichever way they can somebody cook in there so maybe somebody likes to cook for their person um but very handy person somebody very you know helpful to have around so who is thinking of pile one the highest light love and truth who is thinking of pile one we got the 13 the death card the lord of shadows so somebody that's been for a transformation could be a scorpio who is this person got night swords so they could be an air sign Aquarius, libra gemini so somebody intelligent and the knight of swords is somebody that wants to come in quickly so this is somebody that is wanting to reach out to communicate with you um so whether that be in person whether that be online um this is somebody that wants to speak to you speak speak their truth to you yeah eight of swords so they could have been feeling stuck but i feel they're coming out of that energy this is somebody that was stuck up in their head overthinking that goes in with that Knight of Swords energy, uh, feeling trapped, you know, they, they were self-imposed, trapped in their own thoughts, in their own mind. But I feel that Knight of Swords are breaking out of that energy. Yeah, we've got the, um, the Devil Reverse. So I feel they could have been healing from addictions, from codependency, toxic patterns and negative behaviours. So I feel they've been working on something here. And we've got Queen of Pentacles. So they could see you as the Queen of Pentacles. You could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or they just see you in that energy. Somebody very grounded, very loving, very nurturing, very down to earth. Somebody financially stable and abundant. You know, they hold you in good self-esteem. Yeah, Three of Cups, that can talk about reconciliation. So this could be somebody you know. This could be somebody returning from your past okay that wants to celebrate with you if not this is somebody that wants to date you to go out it could be somebody in a friends group and it's all in the timing with the three of wands so this is all about divine timing here so 
So why are they thinking about you? So I'm using another deck. Why are they thinking about part one? Why are they thinking about part one? Why are they thinking of part one? They're thinking of part one. Yeah, we've got separation. So this is somebody you're in separation from. Um, they're feeling sad. They're missing you. Thinking about you. Yearning for you. They're unsure of the future. They're not sure how you feel about them. We've got dragonfly. Lighthearted, finding out. Things coming to light. Adapt, change and heal. Yeah. So as I said, they've been healing. They've been healing from maybe past negative behaviours and addictions. They want to come in. They want to bring in a light-hearted energy they want to be speak their truth to you yeah there's a lot of passion here they feel the chemistry they like you they want to have fun with you so they're really feeling the passion they want to come in and express that to you okay so that's your message part one sending you love and blessings take care hello party you chose to ride away so first of all we're going to get some oracles. So this is my deck, La Homme Divine Masculine. It doesn't have to be masculine energy. This is just the qualities. So who is thinking about you and why? So who is thinking about you? Let's get some qualities so you can tell who this might be. So it could be somebody you're with, somebody you're in separation from, or somebody you've not even met yet who's got their eye on you, for example. So who is this person thinking of part one or two? So they're very passionate, has a lot of fire, desires, lustful, could be a fire sign. Somebody enjoys kissing. Who's this person? Part two. Yeah, they're supportive, they lend a hand, do their share. So they're not somebody that's a taker, they're a giver as well. So you'd have a give and take relationship. We've got athlete, looks after body and mental health. So they could be somebody that works out, they could run. They're very physical, they're a physical person, they take care of themselves, of their body and their mental health as well. So who is this person for part two for the highest light, love and truth? Who is this person for part two? Who is this person? We've got the chariot, so it could be a cancer, but it's somebody that wants to move things forward with you. Yeah, we've got wish fulfillment. So this is somebody that sees you as a wish fulfillment. You meet all, all their desires. You're you're what they desire in a in a person, whether you're a man or a woman. And page of cups. Yeah, they want to message you. They want to reach out to you. What else can you tell us about this person? Yeah, with the page of swords, they're definitely watching you online. So this could be somebody you don't you've not even met. Maybe they're watching your social media. Uh, maybe they follow what you do um, or even if it's somebody you know they're watching you okay they're watching you online yeah they want to come forward with a solid offer they want a brand new beginning here with you so this for some it could be somebody you know from the past somebody returning or file visit somebody brand new yeah we've got balance so they yeah that's a very balanced energy there's there's going to be a lot of give and take yeah they want to be romantic so it could be um, a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio they could be younger than you, but they want to have, bring romance and fun and love into your life. Why are they thinking of you? What else? We've got love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So somebody could be calling you soon. Um, this could be somebody that has your number, they could be texting you, or this could be a message on social media. Um, they want to express how they feel. They've been holding something in, I feel. We've got the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. So for some of you, it could definitely be somebody returning uh, from the past and wants a brand new start with you. They want to rekindle, they want to renew, they want to transform this. They've been growing and so have you and they've changed their mind about this. And we've got wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So this is somebody who wants that commitment with you. They want to let you know that they're serious about this. They want to commit to this. They feel this soul connection 
and they want that union with you so very powerful there number two so if you enjoyed that please give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time hello part three so who is thinking of you and why so we're going to start off with my oracle laham divine masculine but you know this is just about the qualities of the person it could be a man or a woman so who is the person thinking of part three who is the person thinking of part three who is the person thinking of part three Well, we've got somebody strong, strong, capable. There could be somebody that works out. They could have a very fit body here, yeah, very physically fit. We've got Divine Masculine. So this is your counterpart. This is your person. And we've got somebody intelligent, great mind, clever. So very, very intelligent. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Uh, very clever. You really admire them or... You know, you may not even know them actually, but they're the qualities. So what else can you tell us about the person, the person thinking about pole three? What can you tell us about the person thinking about pole three? We've got the Hermit Reverse, so it could be a Virgo. Um, somebody that maybe has been in Hermit mode. Somebody that has spent a lot of time alone and they've got that illumination, um, self-awareness. Self they've come into self-awareness about self here. So who else, what else can you tell us about this person? Yeah, we've got justice. They want to bring justice. They want to bring balance here to this situation. Yeah, they want to message you, Page of Pentacles. So they want to definitely communicate with you. It could be an apology for some of you. Yeah, they want a brand new beginning. So for some of you, it's somebody you know is returning. And they could have been, you know, you could have been in separation. You know, they, that person's been alone, spending time alone. You could have been mirroring each other. Um, they want to take a leap of faith with you. They want that new beginning. Yeah, they want to tell you how they feel with that page of cups. Again, it could just be a text or an email or reaching out on social media, yeah, six of cups. So that is that reconciliation. Um, so somebody is returning, they want to reconcile with you. Yeah, we've got King of Wands energy. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they're in that energy now. There's somebody that's really feeling passionate, they're driven, they're going to take action on what it is they want. And before, maybe they were not. What else can you tell me about them? Yeah, we got the magician. So I feel that they're really tapping into their own gifts, their own talents, and they're manifesting this connection. They're manifesting this. What else can you tell me about this person? What else can you tell me? You know, the Three of Pentacles, they want to work together with you. They want to collaborate. Yeah, Knight of Cups energy. They want to be romantic. They want to have, bring fun. They want to bring the sun. They want to bring joy into your life. They want to bring in that love. So they're, they're feeling very strong about you. So what else? Why else are they thinking of you, Part 3? Why else? Why else are they thinking of you, Part 3? Yeah, we've got date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. So for some of you, it could be somebody new um, that's had their eye on you, or you're going to meet somebody out that feels this way about you. Um, but for some, for a, a lot of you, I feel it's somebody returning that want to plan a date with you. They want to take you out. They want to show you that they're serious about this. Heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So... You know, you've unlocked this person's heart. Maybe they were closed off to love. Maybe you both were. And you've opened each other up to love. And, you you were, you know, this person wants to take that chance with you. And they want to get together with you. They feel that you're perfect for them. Yeah, we've got love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. So somebody's definitely going to be reaching out. We have that page of pentacles. So they definitely want to communicate with you. So for some, it could be a phone call if they know your number. Could be a text, could be an email. 
or it could be a reach now on social media, but they definitely want to communicate. They want to get together with you. They want to tell you how they really feel. Okay, so beautiful message there. So just quick messages today. So if you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye for now.